Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a redo box break. We do have a 2020-2021 Panini Contenders Draft Picks Basketball for David S. from Ohio. Now if you did catch David's original box on Wednesday, you probably understand why we're just going ahead and opening up a second box. But if you missed it, make sure to go check out that abomination of a box right there. You know, there's six packs per box in here. You know, 18 cards per pack, supposed to be six autos per box. But what would happen if just four of those packs didn't have autos in them? Well, you can find out right up there. That little little card should take you to see that video. Yeah, so that box was missing four hits. So we were, we were discussing with David, what should we do? You know, do you want us to chase down Panini for you? Do you want us to just give you a refund? And then Boss Man was saying, you know, we had one more box. How about we just go ahead and take those cards, take care of that problem with Panini, and we give you another box just instead. So this was our last box. We are all out of Contenders Draft Picks. But we do now have Contenders Prism. Not Contenders Prism, Prism Draft Picks available. I opened up a box of that earlier today. That was pretty nice. So hopefully my luck will continue to here in a good way. Let's go on ahead and see if we can get at least six autos per box by quickly snapping us into the corner and getting started. Now it'd be crazy. I mean, the boxes were right next to each other when we got them. What if that box was missing four hits and this one has an extra four hits? That would be crazy. Not sure how I'd actually feel about that. You know, because obviously if it wasn't to the same person, it wouldn't even out. One person would get the, the the low end of the stick and one person would be overjoyed. But let's see what we can find here. Can we find a Denny Abdija Auto? Can we find LaMelo Ball? Can we find Anthony Edwards? Let's find out by getting into pack number one. Now hopefully we have a better experience here for David. All right. Got that panini I just flipping around upside down. We got Kemba Walker. We have D'Angelo Russell campus tickets, and we have an autograph, okay, Jay Scrub, State Base Prospect Ticket Auto, Numbers Game Insert, School Colors, Campus Legends. Do wish there were more insert sets. We got a Zion here. I've been instructed by you guys during the live streams to go ahead and pull out Jaws and Zions. They're still worth pulling out, even though they're not rookies anymore. And it is a second year card for them. Second year collegiate card. I'm still pulling those out and getting them all sleeved up. Now is this the regular variation? This is the regular. There are a lot of variations here. They will be denoted with a little V on the back. However, it seems like there's just as many variations as there are regular cards, so I don't think they're like that short printed or anything like that. Like I'll pick up this pile and we're going to have a ton of Vs. One, two, three, four, five. So we actually got half the cards there were variations. So it, they should have just made it like a 200 card base set or whatever, instead of just having variations. I feel like it would have been more, uh, not as a pain in the butt to collect, having those spot variations. Drew Holiday, Jimmy Butler, we have Romaro Gill. All right, so two autos, all right, two base autos, but at least we have autos here. Prospect Ticket, Campus Legends, Numbers Game, School Colors, Legends, Points which is the numbers game ones. I want to call them points cards. Not to be confused with how Panini did us dirty this past weekend with a points card. You know, Panini has been like really trying to try me recently. Not put, I mean, it's obviously not directed at me, but we had that, you know, incident with the points card this past weekend. We had the box with four missing hits. It's like, we had that box a couple weeks ago of Spectra football that was literally just missing a card. So, Panini's been trying us recently or here at Titan Cards and uh, Panini, Panini Stinks. I almost said something else, but um, I don't know if YouTube would like that particularly. Got something extra shiny here. Campus ticket. And then what is this? Tournament ticket. Drew Holiday. 20 out of 49. That is a variation. Very cool. For UCLA. Tournament ticket. Devin Dotson. Ooh, conference ticket. 94 out of 99. Very cool. Numbered autograph little sunburst design. Not too crazy about the way that inserts look either. I feel like they're very blah. We got two numbered cards in pack. All right, but we got three autographs. It's an improvement already, already an improvement. One numbered auto. John Morant on the back. Sleep that one up too when we get there. 
Kevin Love, RJ Barrett, Zeke Naji, a variation autograph. Is a base prospect ticket auto? And there's that regular John Morant. Let's leave him up. You can go hang out with Zion. Get the Zeke Naji in a top loader as well. And then we'll get into the last two packs here. Be nice to see another numbered autograph, perhaps one of those optic cards. That'd be nice. Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony, and we have Freddie Gillespie. Hey, prospect ticket, 31 out of 33. It is the ticket-shaped one, the little die-cut ticket-shaped. So that is cool, prospect ticket, Freddie Gillespie. Very cool. So we did get a second numbered autograph. Very nice, very nice. I like that they're actual ticket shaped. I appreciate the effort. Some of these tickets don't look like tickets. So that is very cool. Oop, I messed up my piles. Completely messed up my piles. Jeez, give me a second. All right, fixed it, fixed it. Almost ruined it once again. All right, and last pack here for David. Here we get. Something extra special, extra spicy in here. Let's find out. Pascal Siakam, James Harden, and we have Desmond Bain, Corn Frog, just base prospect ticket auto. Desmond Bain. So four base autos, two numbered autos. Nico Mannion of points, Kira Lewis Jr. Anthony Davis, Marcus Howard, Sadiq Bey, and any more Zions or Jaws? No more Zions or Jaws in here. So let me go ahead and get Bane all sleeved up. And it is time for us to get through our recap. So it does seem like a pretty average numbered wise box. Did probably a little more than usual on the numbered autos. Probably usually get one. We did get two here. Did also get the tournament ticket. Usually we're getting a card numbered out of 99 for the ticket parallels. But we did get one out of 49 here. That variation, Drew Holiday, 20 out of 49 tournament ticket. Also got one base Zion, one base Jaw. Neither are variations. Are the Blue Devils and the Racers. Looking at our numbered autographs, we did get that prospect ticket. Ticket shaped 31 of 33. Oh, okay, so that is Jer it's out of the, the uh, jersey number two. Not sure if they're in like that intentionally, or if he just happens to be the Baylor University number 33, and it's out of 33. But that is cool. Freddie Gillespie, variation ticket auto. Conference tickets, variation Devin Dotson, 94 out of 99, with that little starburst foiling in the background. And then our four base autos, Desmond Bain, as we saw in the last pack, Zeke Naji, Romaro Gill, and Jay Scrub. And that will do it here for this box. Thankfully, we did get all of our expected hits in a box for David. So I hope you enjoyed this video much more than the last one, David, and that I was able to add some nice cards to your collection. Now, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments for me, how many names that I mispronounced, please let me know in the comment section down below. Still getting used to this upcoming draft class. So I really want to be on point with my pronunciation game once we get things like Prism and other, like, full NBA releases, not collegiate stuff. I mean, obviously I want to pronounce their names now, but it is a learning process. So any advice you have for me, let me know that down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Now for me today, I'm getting close to the end. Still have one box of Phoenix left and five, I think is all I'm going to do today for the Star Wars The Mandalorian tins from from Tops. Uh, we do have a lot more Mandalorian personal breaks, but I think I'll wait till Monday. Just uh, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have three more. 10 videos in a day, I think probably is my limit. So if you don't see your personal break of Mandalorian today, that is gonna be on Monday. But that is it for me here. Again, thank you so much to David for being very understanding. And I hope you enjoyed this box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope to catch you all either later today, tomorrow night during our live stream or sometime at your next convenience. So take care everyone, stay safe, and I'll be back shortly. Bye.